State agencies held an open house in the most recent in a series of public meetings, bringing citizens up to speed on the latest activities related to Water Gremlin. Welcome. Thanks for coming out tonight. It's good to see you all again. A, a number of you have been at these public meetings that we've had before, I'm sure. In January of 2019, the Minnesota Department of Public Health began investigating community exposure to a chemical known as TCE used by the company, discovering they'd failed to report accurate emission data for more than 15 years. White Bear Lake resident Lee Thiel, who lives just a quarter of a mile from the Water Gremlin facility, says she helped form Neighborhood Concerned Citizens Group after learning about the emissions. Pretty quickly thereafter, we found out that it had been highly excessive amounts of TCE that had been polluted into our neighborhood over the past 15 plus years. And my kids grew up in that neighborhood. They're now 15, 15, and 17. Uh, they learned how to walk there, always outside, um, when the plant was in full operation. So that causes a lot of angst. Minnesota Pollution Control Agency Commissioner Laura Bishop says although the agency has issued one of the largest civil penalties in its history to Water Gremlin, it's their job to bring the company back into compliance, not shut it down. The MPCA has used every tool in its toolbox to hold Water Gremlin accountable. The MPCA has shut down those companies' uh, operations that violated state law, and state agencies have gone to court demanding that the company take more stringent steps to protect workers, their families, and the environment. The MPCA has issued financial penalties against the company and will again for breaking the, the public's trust with these latest actions. Among the pack room sat Water Gremlin employees, frustrated by what they say was an emotional plea by Senator Chuck Wieger to hold the company accountable. Case in point, I'm outraged with the land exposure those kids. Water Gremlin employee Kevin Castle hopes to get everyone working toward a solution, saying emotionally charged responses hurt, not help. We just, we want to be able to have our jobs. We, I mean, you're, you're talking about a company that's been around for 70 years. That, that's, a, that's a huge legacy. And there have been a lot of people who have raised their children, have had some very successful families, have built relationships and families at work. Um, and, and really, we don't want to lose that. Thiel says she's learned a lot about how the legislative process works, or perhaps doesn't. And though she has yet to see if her group is making a difference, at least she says the issue is being discussed more than if her group wasn't involved. It's, it's been an incredible journey, and I know I've made some really good friends throughout this process. If I have to find a silver lining, uh, that, that is definitely one. I've made some very, very good friends.